Yes. Bring him in. We have a guest. By all means. By all means. Please bring him in. We have a guest. It's going to rain. I have my head's hurting. All right. Yeah. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Um, I'll be back. I'm okay. not going far. Okay. I know you don't have a ride home. No. Well, we thank you. We, <laughs> we, 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 do have, we do have a guest coming on in. Dan Ariel. Morning, Dan Ariel. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you, Dan. Have a seat there. You're early. Am I early? No, no, you're not, not, not early. Not no, early. I was coming no. from Jackson. Yeah, it took a little longer than it took. Dan, Dan, what, what, what's, what's your title with Pine Belt Chevrolet? I am the general manager at the store. That's what I thought. Yes. And how long have you been there? I've been there 15 years. Pine Belt Chevrolet yes. in Lakewood. Yes. Now, I've been talking about uh, you uh, the, almost incessantly here for the last couple of weeks. You've got something going on. I. Uh, Pine Bell, as as Chevrolet and Lakewood, has been, been an absolute part of my life. I'm from Lakewood. I don't. I think you may know that. Correct. And uh, I, I grew up with uh, with Pine Bell Chevrolet. And I was doing some reminiscing the other day, and I I figured out I've owned a lot of cars in my life. Okay. Because I'm getting a little long a tooth, as you can <laughs> see. Uh, the my four favorite cars of my lifetime, all from Pine Bell Chevrolet. Great. Going back to a 1950, I. I think six, white Impala that was magnificent. Beautiful. And then I had two Camaros, 70 and 71. Okay. Wow. I mean, the souped up babies, with the big engine and the dual carbs and uh, and stick shift, of course, of that course. goes without saying. Yep. Back to back Camaros. And then the uh, uh, the fourth one was a, 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 a beautiful black Chevy IROC convertible. And we got plenty of time here. So, okay. so don't, uh, no I, problem. I, can, I can do this. Um, and uh, it, it had a sad ending. Uh, that 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 uh, beautiful car, because it was a beautiful day, and I had the top down, and I got stopped by the light uh, where we frequently do it, Route uh, 37 and 166. Sure. And a car pulled up next to me, windows open again. It's a beautiful day, and two very young girls, and uh, the passenger said to the uh, driver, "Look at the old guy driving the IROC," and. <laughs> My life almost ended at that moment. So, but my four favorite cars, all from Pine Belt Chevrolet. Great, great I, to hear. I've had phone calls and uh, been questioned in person. Somebody stopped me in Target the other day and said, "What is this deal going on now at Pine Belt Chevy in Lakewood?" And I said, "Well, obviously, I heard it's just what you heard. I, there's not a lot of detail." And I just tell like it is. I give the phone number. I say, you got any questions? I had a call on my Sunday show on the air, actually. Okay. The guy called, because we take calls on anything, and we don't screen them. Sure. The guy called, what's this deal with Pine Belt Chevrolet? What? I said, it's just what you heard. I said, if you got any questions, and I gave him the phone number. Call up, Great. tell him you heard it, and ask what it's all about. So how about, is there any elaboration here on what I've been, I've been saying don't make the $1,000 mistake, and that means get your best deal. Anywhere, mm -hmm. uh, and bring it to Pine Belt Chevrolet in Lakewood and save at least a thousand dollars off the deal. Now, is there any elaboration on that? Uh, it's just like you said. It's simple. Uh, get your best deal, and we guarantee that we will beat the deal by a thousand dollars, and that's a lot of money. Yes, a thousand dollars in your pocket is better than somebody else's pocket. There's no doubt about so, it. Uh, so that that is the bottom line. You know, we have tremendous inventory. We have the best prices. Uh, we've been in business for almost seventy five years, and we just truly like to take care of our customers. Yeah, that is our main concern. I you just, know. you know, um, let's face it. What's more competitive than the uh, than the car business today? Uh, and and I emphasize, there's no downside because you're going to be doing business with Pine Belt Chevrolet in Lakewood. And I say, hey, a name you can trust since 1937. That's it, the and, Chevy Giant, exactly. Exactly, and uh, I. Uh, I, I, who, who, who wouldn't do this? No downside. Exactly. So, now you're here to elaborate, right. and there's, there's nothing to elaborate. So I've been correct. Well, th we do offer a lot of other little things like uh, free oil changes, loaner cars. Uh, like I said, we've been in business a long time, so we do have the formula. We do know what it takes to take care of our customers, uh, and it truly starts with people. You walk in the door, we treat you like family. Uh, we treat you the way you want to be treated. You know, buying a car is usually not a happy thing, and it should be. You know, it should be a happy thing. We try to make it a pleasurable experience. 
Uh, I have very good people that work under me and work for me, and that's where it starts. Yeah. The minute you walk in, everybody's smiling, happy, and we want to treat you the right way. All right, your logo yeah. is so well known, and uh, uh, I, I mean, uh, you, you, you. We talk about the original Pine Belt, of course, the first and only Pine Belt started uh, uh, long before you were born. 1937. At a lit in a little garage on Fourth Street in yep. Lake with a one car showroom. Yep. I I raised the question the other day. I don't think it's answerable. Mary Ann said, oh, I'll bet they could tell you. And I said, no, they can't. How many new Chevrolets has Pine Belt Chevrolet sold since, 19, wow. since that first wow. one that, in 1937? That's, that's a great question. I'm sure uh, Mr. Sickle could probably tell you really, really close, well, it's, you know, the owner. Um, but it's it's been a lot. You know, obviously in its heyday, they were doing almost 1,000 cars, you know, a month. They were ranked, you know, in the country you know, top three, you know, number two in the country. Okay, so let's, um, let's say that's 12,000 a year um, times 75 years. Well, yeah, it hasn't been that many recently uh, due to the uh, economic times, but uh, we're, we're still up there. We're still ranked in the country. Uh, we've been as high as, you know, top 25 this year, which is excellent, you know, considering we're on Route 88 in Lakewood, New Jersey. Is that, you know, not, is that the top 25 nationally? Nationally, correct, nationally. So... so uh, you know. If um, if if uh, I I think today I ask people you know um, uh, not only advertisers but people I know how's business and if if they say not bad I go well good for you right. okay right. not bad means good and um, you have you have to know who you're talking to uh, also we we I've had so many advertisers over the years I mean heck I've been on on uh, Sunday's been my 33rd year now wow. so you you, you got to know them so if if a guy if you know the guy and you say how's business he says not bad that means really terrific or it could be the other way around sure. no well, know your customer sure. do you, you you enjoy what you do I love what I do I love what I do I've been there like I said 15 years uh it starts with Mr. Sickle. Uh, his son Rob Sickle is there now. Hey, third know, generation, over. exactly. Third generation. Uh, there's a couple of fourth generations uh, right now uh, waking up, having breakfast. You know, he has grandchildren, uh, and I plan to be there many more years. Uh, like I said, it, it's a great family to be part of the Pine Bell family, uh, and just great people. So I love me, waking up every morning, going to work sincerely. Well, let know? me ask you this: Now, Lou Trevino was the general manager there for years. Correct. Uh, has it been fifteen years? Did you come in uh, after after Lou? No, Lou wasn't there when I was there. Lou is part of the other Pine Belt group. Um, I never worked with Lou, so he was already gone by the time I was there. Uh, Ken Martin. Kenny Martin. Kenny Martin was the general manager when I was there. He's still there. He's the vice president of the company. Um, again. Class act, great person uh, to work with and work for. Uh, like I said, just great people to to be with every right. day. Uh, now I I know this is almost hard for me to fathom, but there there are many thousands of people living right here in Ocean County mm -hmm. that have never physically seen Pine Belt Chevrolet in Lakewood. I mean, you got people. Uh, we're, we're almost uh, two, two counties in one. We got the southern part of the county, the northern part. Of the right. We have we have now thousands of people living down in Manahawk and Barnegat, uh, uh, all in that area, who never have occasion to get up for any reason on Route 88 in Lakewood. Never even seen your facility. So I tell people, if you've never seen the Pine Belt, uh, seen Pine Belt Chevrolet in Lakewood, never been there, you're in for an eye opener when you walk into that showroom. Exactly, it's state of the art facility. Uh, tremendous. I mean, building. It's hard to miss. You know, if you've been to a Blue Claws game in that area, uh, if you go down the Jersey Shore, you know, we're not far from Point Pleasant. You must go. Tom's River area. A lot of our clients are from the Tom's River area. So everybody knows Pine Belt. Um, if you haven't been there, come by, visit, come by, see me, you know, personally, say hello, and uh, we'll do the right thing by you. All right. A lot of people don't know this, and again, uh, we, we we've got time for this. Uh, that um, um, way back in '37, originally, my my my, my dad actually uh, started Pine Belt Chevrolet for a brief time. Yes, I heard that. Uh, went into a partnership with Leon Sickle. Eventually, yes. sold his half to Leon Sickle for for uh, less than the cost of a. Uh, of a nice new say, Chevy, uh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, when uh, you, you've had an incredible history, you moved from from Fourth Street, I should say, Pine Belt, did mm -hmm. move from that little place in Fourth Street to a to a, a more typical facility on Main Street in Lakewood, which is also Route 88, but is right downtown, Correct. and then moved out 
onto what's become Car Row now right. on Route 88 and had a, uh, a nice facility, had a devastating fire. Correct. I can't think of the year. Mid-80s, uh, I wasn't around, about I say 86, 87, uh, mid-80s. Um, I think maybe even earlier. Well, well that's either here. Devastating fire. Yes. Burned right to the ground. Burned right to the and, ground. And uh, uh, to this day, David Sickle tell you, thanks God everybody got out. I mean, so you had some, some women working there who who left their purses laying yes. on the floor. Yes, that's yes, That's how quickly it... Anyway, it burned down. Correct. And, and, and I thought, oh my gosh, that's the end of Pine Belt. But it miraculously... Uh, David pulled things together, and within a couple of days, you had trailers in there. You were selling cars. You had a thousand cars on a lot. All the keys burned yep. up. And I said I would have just gotten in my car and driven away, and, and never looked back, crying of sure. course and whatever. And you built this magnificent facility. Now mm -hmm. it's on both sides of the road. You got the sales and the offices, the showroom on one side. You got this huge service uh, center on the other side, and they kind of match aesthetically. Yep. Fantastic, fantastic showroom, fantastic facility mm -hmm. uh well anyway when when the new facility was complete uh david had a grand opening party uh hundreds of people okay. uh, by invitation and he asked me if i would like host it if i would MC, and i was delighted to do it and i remember uh getting up talking about the history of pine belt and whatever and uh, i said people have asked me if i if i regretted that uh, my father had sold out the, all these those years ago, mm -hmm. and I said not at all. I said because if uh, if it had been my father and not Leon Sickle, uh, and then uh, I had gone in there, we'd still be in that one car little garage on Fourth nice, Street. Nice. And, and knowing myself, I meant it. <laughs> so uh, it, it's been an, an amazing run, and nice. uh, um, not go. You're not going anywhere. So there's no disclaimer here. There's no small print. Nothing. It's so simple, folks. If you're a Chevy lever, a Chevy uh, owner, a wannabe one, go out anywhere to any deal. Get the best deal you can get. Mm -hmm. The best deal. Bring that deal to Pine Belt Chevrolet in Lakewood. Save at least $1,000 off that bottom line. Now, is that the whole story? That is it. Well, <laughs> I, feel, I feel good because I've been, I've been telling it Correctly, Good. the way it is. Good, you should. <laughs> and again, no downside because an uh, impeccable reputation. I also talk about how can people buy a, a car without knowing who they're doing business with. You got to know the reputation. You've got it, Dan. I want to thank you for coming in, it's Dan Ariel. Pleasure, thank General you, General Manager, Pine Belt Chevrolet and Lake. When you heard, it, there's no details. That's it. Go Come by. Save at least a thousand dollars off your bottom line. Thanks for coming in. Awesome pleasure. Thank you.